Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I'm gonna be covering the new banner that dropped about three or four days ago, and that is the one featuring Barrett and Red. Red's got a new outfit, and I actually think it's one of the coolest costumes they've given Red. It's called Pilot's Jacket. Um, kind of also, I would it kind of looks like a bomber jacket, and I think it's really, really cool looking. I'm very excited that Red is getting some love here. Um, Let's get into what it does. So pretty simple as far as our abilities, nothing, you know, fancy as far as what we've been seeing recently. Uh, but boost heal, that's going to give plus 10, plus 15% on healing potency. So it's going to make him way better uh, as a dedicated healer or at least your main type of healer if that's what you want to do with him. Buff debuff extension plus, this is going to give 60% duration to buff debuff. And... He is really good at this, so if you missed out on his other uh, buff debuff garb, this is a pretty good one to have. It's not something I'm going to be going for right now, and I will get to that, but it has to do with what's coming up next week. In fact, maybe in just about three or four days. Uh, the other thing here, Pilot's Collar. Uh, this is magic defense up and a heal. Um, it's very, I would say... I guess if I was going to compare it to something, I would compare it to Mass Weapon, which I'm going to show in just a second. But let's first go ahead and look at 5 star to OB1, as traditionally we do here on the channel. Uh, this is the card that Tom Rom made. And basically what you're seeing here is you get a little bit of our abilities as normal. Uh, you get a little bit more C ability potency, but not as much as normal for weapons and stuff. Like usually damage weapons get a big boost to a C ability from, you know, 5 star to OB1. This, it gets 8% more healing potency, which isn't, um, I mean, I think that's meaningful. Uh, two more seconds up on the duration, but not really what we care too much about. I think this weapon is mostly as good at 5 stars as it is at OB1. So you're probably looking more for like the 5 star versus OB6+. Plus. And speaking of 5 star to OB6+, plus, the main thing that we get is going to be healing potency and uh, this max potency stacking to high. So, unfortunately, we don't get a magic defense increase too high right out of the gate, but we do get an actual decent AoE heal. That's going to be the trade-off. Also, the R abilities are pretty nice for this weapon. Boost heal here at OB6 to 40, buff debuff extension 27, and it has a heal boost for a single target heal. So, not, not really bad at all. Uh, at max stats, you're looking at 59%, which is very standard for an AoE healing weapon. 14 second duration, so the duration's always going to be pretty low. Uh, heal maxing out at 46 and buff debuff at 39. And if I was going to compare this to another weapon, as I said, uh, I would probably compare it to, uh, if we can find Matt here, this weapon right here, uh, Core Defender. So this, it gives the same thing, magic defense increase. Um... But, so looking at max, right, <clears throat> you're getting the same duration. It does go up to high starting at uh, OB6, you can see here. But um, what you're missing out is the heal. So this is 7% versus, you know, like 59%. That's a pretty big difference. The stats here as well do not line up nearly as well with what the weapon itself is trying to do. Uh, and then you randomly get a wind boost down here. Not saying that that can't be useful in the right scenario, but I think Reds is just suited better. Now, the fact that this can get, you know, OB6 magic defense potency high is a pretty big deal. However, me personally, I think the mid that stacks to high with a heal, because there's times when you're just going to need a jam heal, uh, I think that that makes Reds weapon uh, a little bit better. And so... I think it's a perfectly good weapon. It's not something that I'm worried about getting right away because this will be wishlistable. And uh, so that's what I think about Red. Now moving on to Barrett. Barrett didn't get a costume. Kind of wish he would have. Uh, but his weapon is, I think, really, really good. So, Escuchion Cannon. That's what it's called. And what does it do? Magic defense increase all allies and win 70% or more HP threshold. Magic attack increase, also small heal. Looking at it from 5 star to OB1, 
you can see you get a four second duration increase for the magic defense up on the C ability. You also get a four second increase on magic attack up, um, a little bit of like one more percent healing potency, uh, and then a little bit of our ability. So again, because this isn't a damaging item uh, or weapon, not as much felt in the C ability department. You're really looking from five star to OB six. However, when we go from five star to OB six, Pay attention, right? So we've got mid stacking to high for magic defense all, and that's at five star. And then magic attack increase all mid to high at just five star. Making this weapon, honestly, at five star pretty damn amazing. It's also got a circle sigil boost, boost magic defense and buff debuff extension. Like really, really solid. Going up to six, magic defense increase potency high and magical attack potency high. So this is really the weapon of the banner, in my opinion, uh, for people who didn't get something like Kimura Wand. I think this is one of your best options. I mean, obviously, like Reds is really good, too, because it's still giving the magic defense, which, you know, is one of the things that Kimura Wand does so well. However, Kimura Wand does not give the big AoE heal. You have to still stick a Cura in your third slot on the Materia to get it. So I think both of these kind of work similarly to kind of do what Kimura Wand was doing, but especially Escuchion Cannon, because it also gives magic attack. Now, Kimura Wand, for those of you who don't recall, it gives magic defense up, potency high starting at OB6 to all allies, and physical attack up. So this is the opposite of that, giving magic attack which makes it a one-of-a-kind weapon at the moment and something that I think is pretty much a must-grab for most people. Now, it doesn't have to be right away. Again, this is wishlistable, which also, I think, makes it easily as good as Kimura Wand for that alone. Uh, magic Defense, again, and Buff Debuff, pretty good. The only thing it doesn't have access to that Kimura Wand does is a cure-all in the support material slot. That is or can be a concern, but I also think that it's something you can work around with most parties. And so I think this weapon is fa fabulous. I mean, it's it's really, really good. And looking at it at max, I mean, you're getting up to 20 second durations on these, which I think is pretty great, especially because it already has the innate buff debuff extension. I mean, if you're main handing this, you're getting 150% at OB10. Uh, I can't I can't say any more about this. I think it is really, really solid. Just to make things a little bit clearer, I want to go ahead and put up another chart that I asked Tom Ram to make specifically for this video, and that is comparing things like Kimura Wan, Kina Megaphone, Stalwart Integrity for Angeal, and this Escuchion Cannon. So remember that the first two, the Kimura Wan and the Kina Megaphone, are both limited weapons. So if you didn't get them, it's going to be hard to obtain them. If you got them, but not as high as you wanted to, same story. Whereas, you know, Angeals and Barrett's weapons are going to be something you can get anytime you want to pull and wishlist something on a featured banner. So looking at the, uh, you know, what we offer here, you can see that physical defense is covered by both Kate and Angeal, magic defense, Aerith and Barrett. And that's where, you know, we're looking at Barrett's weapon today. Um, and then physical attack, all of them, but magic attack only this weapon for Barrett. Pretty big deal. And then if you go to our abilities, you can see, you know, Aerith does have that nice boost HP, which is pretty damn useful. Magic defense though, I would say is like a tier two, like it's almost as useful. And the only reason I would say HP is probably more useful is it's more flexible because it's gonna be able to, I mean, when you don't need magic defense, you know, you take a little bit of a hit there. Also the cure all spells on, on Kimura Wand is very nice but circle sigil boost or any sigil boost is probably like the next best thing in my opinion um other than that i think angeal would be the other most comparable weapon uh just for the fact it does opposite stuff so if you have both of these you can literally cover all of your bases physical defense magical defense physical attack magical attack very very easy to cover all of those with just two weapons um boost hp 62 on angeal so is huge um, and buff debuff extension, obviously on the lower end. Um, so anyway, I guess just wanted to show that comparison because I know there were so many people, so many people who, uh, you know, complain about not having access to Kimura Wand. And I, I 100% empathize with you because 
it made certain content that was already clearable so much easier and other content I wouldn't say it was the only way to clear it, but for many people, uh, it would have been it would have been the easiest way to clear it. And not having it could make that content unclearable if you don't have other people with the right setups and you need more weapons to kind of compensate for that. So very happy. I've been telling people I thought we we're gonna get access to that, and I'm very excited. It's going to be going on probably my wish list like the very next time I drop. But as we wrap up this video, I do want to acknowledge Tom Rom had mentioned it in the Night Bites video, the last one he put out a few days ago. Final Fantasy VI collab has been announced, and that is the sole reason that I'm not pulling on this banner. Otherwise, I would be. I have almost enough to do 11 pulls here. October 30th, I believe, is when the Final Fantasy VI collab is actually releasing. Um, Real quick, I'm gonna show the video and kind of talk about what I'm excited about. So, let's watch. I love this, uh, like, kind of cut in that they're doing here with the triangles. Kefka, we, we anticipated, and that is very exciting. This is making me feel very much like I felt when the Final Fantasy IX collab came out. Terra's garb. Locke's outfit. That looks pretty sick, too. Sabin style. Edgar's attire. Looks really good, by the way. And one of the baddest villains of all time, Kefka. Coming October 30th. So, that is why I will not be pulling on this banner. Uh, we know that collabs are always strong. We know that the banners are always pretty good as far as stamps and everything go. Although they have been nicer to us lately with the way they've done them. But all four of the main cast that I play. Yes, I'm a simp. I play Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, Sephiroth. Those are my main characters in the game. Those are the ones I enjoy the most. I mean, obviously I do really like Barrett as well, but you know, that's another story. Um, they're all getting outfits. You know that you're gonna wanna try to get as many of those as possible. So I implore you, save, see what that banner gives. This one is out till November 8th. You still have another week or so after the new collab drops to decide if Maybe something on there is not for you, and this is. I'm really excited uh, about that collab, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost as excited to play the event as I am to get the new uh, gear. So, uh, because if you didn't play Final Fantasy IX collab, that was the most fun boss that we've had in this game to date. So let me know what you guys think, both about the banner, whether or not you're going to pull, and if so, for what, or you know how you think that you might be able to work some of this into teams if you don't have Kamura Wand. Uh, also, let me know what you think about Final Fantasy VI collab. Very excited. We will be seeing that this week. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.